Do you long for, what, happiness, success, and peace in your life? Do you dream of that better life? Well, for so many of us, it takes a lot of work to make those dreams come true, and we often don't even know where to start. Our next guest says all we have to do is get rid of those negative fantasies and lies in our heads. Yeah, she's the author of Lies That Limit, Uncover the Truth of Who You Really Are. Self-awareness and personal growth expert Teresa Moore Griffin is here with us. So happy to have you here today. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. So, Teresa, what do you mean by lies in our head? Tell us about that. Lies are those labels, those illusions or false beliefs, the excuses we make for why we can and can't do things, <laughs> and the stories we tell ourselves about who we are, what the meaning of certain things that happen in our lives is. Mm -hmm. And we hold on to them and never let them go. And Dis they define us. Dishonesty within ourselves. How prevalent is it? <sighs> I would say that even you, Yuki, despite Teresa, the fact that you're very successful, even you believe lies. We all do. It's almost unavoidable because all, all around us there are pressures for us to believe certain things that just limit us and hold us back. Now, so you talk about different pivotal points. So define what those pivot points are in our life and then how do you actually break through them? Yeah, so the pivot points are those times when someone says or does something that causes you to turn from your goal and direction towards what they've said. Huh. And it often happens as early as when we're little kids. You know, kids have dreams and goals and they talk about them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be, my brother used to say, I'm going to be the garbage man when I grow up. And people would say, oh no, sweetie, you don't want to do that. I got you. I got you. Redirected his focus. But that was what he loved. And so, uh, but, but as you continue with, the, with these different pivot points, though, really, there, there are a lot of us, we, instead of we like reeling back to when we were five or six, what's the one that currently kind of stops us and therefore, you know, almost intimidates us to move forward? I think one present day issue is the financial condition a lot of us find, ourself, find ourselves in. We've lost our jobs, uh, we're making less money, what have you, and this is a major pivot point for all of us. So we can either recoil in fear or we can find more constructive ways of dealing with this very common issue today. I've always been a uh, pretty positive person about life and about mm -hmm. what I'm doing in life. Am I, you think I'm fibbing to myself a little bit about being so positive? That has gotten me through. Mom always said if something doesn't go right for you, then it just wasn't meant for you. Yeah. Don't My cry over it. Same, same thing. It wasn't thing. meant Absolutely. for you. Go on to the next, yeah. the next so, plan. Yeah, so I'm, I'm with your mother in that sense, that if it doesn't work, it's not right for you. Mm -hmm. And the not right for you part, has to, it has to be not right because you've put the effort in and you've sincerely wanted it and it didn't work. When that's mm -hmm. true, then it's not right. But if you're just kidding yourself and you didn't really put the effort in... Mm -hmm. I got you. Mm -hmm. All right. Then you're sort of falling into one of those illusions. All right, Teresa, thank you right. very much. Well, if you know, want to know Dances how to get book. Teresa's book, <laughs> go to cbsphilly.com and just click on Talk Philly. A lot of good information in there.